I'm Tyler Anderson and welcome to another episode of Skeeter School. In this video, you're gonna learn some of the tips that I use when I'm operating or maintaining my Skeeter boat. But be sure to read your owner's manual for a complete guide on operating and maintaining your Skeeter boat. So I know that all of us as Skeeter boat owners desire to have a good, comfortable ride in our bass boat as well as a good, comfortable fishing experience. And a lot of that comes down to organization and proper weight distribution inside of our boats. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about that. My name's Tyler, welcome to class. So starting here in the back of my Skeeter FXR bass boat, you wanna make sure that your battery compartments, you know, where you have all of your marine batteries, all of your accessories uh, here in the back are equally distributed weight wise. So right here, I've got my three trolling motor batteries on this side. I've got my two shallow water anchor pumps on this side, as well as my main cranking battery and my charger right in the middle. You wanna make sure here in the back of the boat, you have your heaviest items. So of course, my batteries and pumps are gonna be here in the back. And you also wanna make sure everything's equally distributed across the entire back. And staying here in the back of the boat, you wanna put all the other very heavy items here, of course, equally distributed between the port and the starboard here on the back of your boat. So I've got all of my soft plastic lures, which are naturally heavy lures here on the left side. And here on the right, I've got my toolbox, all of my necessary boat paperwork, and any extra you know, life jackets or rain jackets and rain gear that can actually get quite heavy. I put that back here on this side. And of course, I wanna make sure that both of these are about the same weight. Now when it comes to weight distribution, it's not only important to have it equal on the port versus the starboard, it's also important to have it equal or as equal as you can from the bow to the stern. You know, if you have too much weight in the back of the boat, you're not gonna have any chance of getting up on plane, you're gonna be plowing through the water. But if you have too much weight in the nose of the boat, you're gonna get on plane, but you're not gonna have a good performance and you definitely won't get any rise or lift in that nose, which leads to higher speed and better performance. So let's open up all three of my main front deck compartments here and show you guys how I balance the weight up here on the front. Now, as an angler, one of the heaviest things you can own, especially if you're like me and you have a lot of lures, is those lures. So here in the middle compartment here in my FXR, I have almost all of my lures in the entire boat here in the middle. And the reasoning for that is because I don't want any weight to be too far on the starboard or too far on the port. I want most of it to be here in the middle. Now, when it comes to my heaviest lures, soft plastics, I do keep some of those in the back of the boat, as I had mentioned. But when it comes to tackle boxes, like this one right here, my terminal tackle box, this thing weighs about 10 pounds right here. And so I wanna keep this here on the front of the boat, but about as far back as I can have it. And that's kind of how I organize this whole thing here. Any fishing line, lighter lures, crankbaits, topwaters, I have those up to the front and all my heavier stuff is back here in the back. And so all my lures are here in the middle and to evenly distribute weight across the rest of the front deck, I have these two hatches right here. Here on the starboard, I've got all of my life jackets, uh, my electronic accessories, my light safety equipment, such as a, uh, a fire extinguisher, throw cushion, everything like that is going to be on the starboard side and here on the port, my Skeeter Mega Rod Tubes here for all of my fishing rods and reels. This is how I evenly distribute weight. No matter if I'm tournament fishing, fun fishing, I have people on the boat with me or not, I have a good, safe ride in my Skeeter boat. So that's gonna be it for this episode of Skeeter School. I hope this simple video gave you guys some helpful tips and reminders on how to best distribute weight inside your Skeeter boat, no matter which type you have. Now I'm excited because I get to back down my FXR into the lake and go catch some fish. My name's Tyler and we'll see you all next time right here on Skeeter School. Yeah, that's the one. That's the gosh dang one. Yes!